hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to implement the logins feature that is we will allow the user to login into the app so for that purpose go to the login screen dot dot file here we have the login button when the user click on that we will first check the internet connectivity and for that we have already created our reusable method which is check connectivity on our common methods as you can see so just like we call it here okay in the same way we can do it on our login screen so i will copy this piece of code and what i can do here above the widget build i will paste it here just like this Let's import the common methods. And now, first we will call this method when the user click on the login button. Then we will allow the user to sign in. So we have to implement that method. So what we can do is we can simply say sign in form validation, which we have to do and from here you can just copy this method which is sign up form validation we will change it for the sign in so the method name is sign in form validation and you know that on the sign in page we have only two text fields and that is the email and the second one is the password and if both condition are uh, stand false that is if the m email is valid and if the password length is six or more than six character then the else statement will execute in that form and then uh, we have to sign in the user so we can say sign in user okay sign in form validation just like this and then we check we validate the form if the email and password is pro uh, provided correctly then the else statement will execute and we will sign in the user so let's just implement the sign in user method so just like on the sign up when we uh, when we call the method register user as you can see first we show the uh, loading bar that is a dialog so in the same way we can do here on the login screen that is first we will display our progress dialog or you can say loading dialog with a message that uh, load you in or you can say allowing you to login or you can say please wait then after that this piece of code from the sign up you can copy and then after the short dialog we can pass that and first of all import this user which is our firebase or dot dot and this time we are going to sign in the user so sign in with email and password and then after that we want to make sure that the dialog box is closed and then we will check that either uh, as you know we will have two kind of apps the user app and the driver app so we have to check that to the user app to the user app only the uh, user can log in and to the driver app only the drivers can log in the driver cannot log in into the user app okay just like you see in uber so what we can do first we will check if the user firebase if that is not equals to null that it means that if the user is authenticated successfully that his record is exist in the database and in the firebase authentication then what we gonna do we are going to create a reference to the user node so the same reference we will copy and let's import the database reference now what we are going to do is we will simply say that 
users reference dot dot once dot then and let's give it name as snap and with the help of this snap so we will say if snap dot snapshot dot value if that is not equals to null so with the help of this snap we check if the snapshot dot value exist we simply means that if this specific user who is trying to log in if this record exists inside the user's parent node then it will not be equals to null which means that it exists which means that it exists otherwise else if it become equals to null it means that it do not exist okay it means that if the user record exists this user who is trying to log in if his or her record exist inside the user's parent node inside the database as you know that inside the user's parent node each user information is saved under the user unique uid as you can see for example if there are five user there will be five further new ids okay and under each user uid the record information will be saved for example this id belongs to muhammad ali okay so we are checking the user who is trying to log in if that record exists inside the user's parent node okay it means that it is not equals to null that is the record exists otherwise if it equals to null it means the record do not exist so if it do not exist then you can simply tell to the user that is your record do not exist or you can say you are not a user so you can say your record do not exist and we have to make sure that uh, your record do not exist uh, as a user as you know this is the user app so as a user you can type and we have to make sure that we log out the user okay so the user can no longer use the app that is we will not allow the user to go inside the home page so we can sign out and then after that inside the if condition if the user record exists then further we have to check one more thing either the admin has blocked this user or not which is the block status so this same uh, the value of this block status key we have to retrieve and check so what we can do we can simply say if the snap dot snapshot dot value first you have to add this inside parenthesis okay like this add parenthesis and then dot value and then after it we have to say as map so we are going to get the value of the key and the key name is block status okay so you know that it will have either no or yes so if the block status if the block status become equals to no then it means that the user is not blocked else if the block status value is equals to yes then the else statement will execute and in that case what we want to do let's copy paste this okay we will first display a message to the user first we will make sure that we sign out the user and then we will tell to the user that you are blocked and then you can say contact um, admin or contact company whatever you want to write okay so we will say contact admin and for example let's say the admin email you can type here let's say this is the official admin email okay you can have your own email of course if you are the admin so you can type any email which you want to display to the user in order if the user wants to contact the admin or the company so yeah that's it so if the block status is equals to no it means that the user has an approved account the user is not blocked so we will send the user to the home page 
now for that purpose we will just using the navigator dot push we will do that okay send the user to the home page now one thing we need here and that is to get the uh, username which letter we will use so for that purpose right click on lib new let's create a new folder we will give it name as global and inside the global folder new dot file we will give it name as global underscore var which means global variables so in here uh, we can create a first global variable which will be by the name uh, user name and we will initialize with an empty string so what we can do on the login screen when we are logged in successfully we will get the username from the database and we will assign it to our username global variable and you know that the username is saved inside the database by the key name name so we have to type name that is get the value of key name so whatever the name is it will just retrieve it and assign it to the username global variable so now we are ready to test our application and now let us click on the play button to install our app on the phone so the app is running now and now let's try to log in so now for example if I provide a wrong password okay then when I click login it will say that an internal error record that is invalid logged in okay because uh, this password is wrong okay and for example uh, also if I provide the correct password and if I provide uh, any record which do not even exist okay for example I have one user currently inside the parent node users which is earlier the red gmail.com okay this user so let's say I want to uh, try to sign in with a email which do not even exist so now if I click on login it says invalid login credentials because this do not even exist in the database so now I will try to login with the correct email and correct password let's try login and we are logged in successfully as you can see that now also one more thing is let's say if the block status is equals to yes okay now let's install the app again on the phone just to check okay if the block status is yes then what happens in that case of course the else statement will execute which will be you are blocked contact admin so now as you know that this user is blocked okay we manually just for the testing we uh, update the value to yes so now if we click on the login button you are blocked contact admin and the admin email is here you can see that because the block status is yes so you can see that it is working fine and of course now you can turn it back to no okay it was just for the testing that either it is working or not so when we change the value to no when you click login now the user is logged in successfully because the user is no longer blocked by the admin of course the admin block is something which we will implement step by step in the upcoming videos